The ability for a player to roll is not something that we see very often in games these days. If you want to learn how to make your player roll, then watch the rest of this video and find out. Game, game Dev game journey. journey. Right, so we want to get our character to be able to roll. So first thing we're going to do is add animations to allow our character to have the appearance of rolling. Now I already have animations ready so I'm going to create a new animation here, rename it roll and import it from my sprites. So I'm going to right click import frames from strip and I already have a roll strip over here. Now if I count the animations, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the 12 uh, frames, when I click open on roll, I'm going to change the horizontal cells to 12 and import. And there we have our rolling frames. And it's really quite a nice little animation. Now the origin point is in the wrong place, so we're going to reassign that, right click, we're going to quick assign to the bottom and there it goes. We're going to right click again and apply to the whole animation. And then I'm going to click on the very first frame. I'm going to press shift and left click on crop and it'll crop all of them at once. And that's the roll animation all set up. Now we are going to link it to the code. So we're going to close uh, and just in fact, the speed five is going to be really slow motion rolling. So let's increase that quite a bit so that it's right when we actually do test it. I'm going to put around 25. We no need to loop it or anything like that. All right, so now we've got our animation ready. So let's go ahead and get it done in the code. So we go to our event sheet. These are our standard anim animations, which we already set up just for walking and running etc and you can see how they work we've got run jump and fall and we're gonna go and get rolling added right some of these will have to change because they're going to interfere with rolling in a second but we'll sort that out i'm just going to close that for now fold it up and let's put in the work for the rolling right so first thing we're going to do is add an event and we're going to check that the rolling animation um, is playing because if it is currently playing we're going to add a little bit of a little puff of dust as the player starts to roll that's just a little bit of that game juice that makes your game look better we only want this to trigger once we don't want constant um, puffs of dust flying around as the player rolls so we want to get the uh, add another condition here we want the trigger once condition from the system here we add in trigger once now we can spawn our, well our player controller can spawn a puff of dust. So we'll spawn the dust and on the player layer, which is layer number one you can see, and the image point will be number one. Now I went ahead and set this up, but I may not have shown you so just to make sure let's go to our player controller and the origin for the player controller is right in the center and that's so that when we pin the animations to the player controller everything lines up but we want the dust to appear at the bottom so I added another uh, origin point just right click and you say add new image point and I set it to the bottom so when I spawn the dust, I don't spawn the dust on image point number zero, which is the center. I spawn the dust on image point one, which is the bottom. That is why we've got here spawn dust on layer one, image point one. So the dust will spawn at the bottom of the player controller. Right, so that will spawn the dust. Now we need a key to make the player roll and we'll use the C key. When you're pressing C, well, there are a few um, conditions that have to be met for the player to be able to roll. You can't roll in the air, so you have to be on the floor, you have to press the key, and you want to roll in a direction. So you also have to be pressing either left or right. 
So we have to set up all of that. So let's do the, the key first. So I'm gonna click and say keyboard on key pressed and we'll choose the C key. So C is for roll. So when you're pressing the C key, you also have to be standing on the floor. You can't roll in the air. So we'll add another condition and we'll say player controller uh, platform is on floor. So you're pressing C, you're on the floor. But now there are some more conditions. So I'm just gonna add in some blank um, events down here and I'm gonna say you're on the keyboard. Um, key is down. Well, we could actually go with left, right is down over there, see, see it's got the option for both. So we'll say, um, uh, these are, sorry, this is not the right thing. I thought this was the left, right arrow, but it's not. Okay. So the left key is down, right. And let's add in another condition here. And we'll say keyboard key is down, right arrow is down and it's it's either of these you're either pressing left or you're pressing right at the moment this is set up as an and you're pressing left and right so we're gonna right click make it an or block so now you're pressing left or right then we're going to play our role animation so we're going to go to our player set animation and our animation is going to be the role animation play from the beginning and we want to increase the player controller's speed at that point as well. So, because you roll, when you roll, you kind of shoot off a slightly faster than your regular speed. So our regular max speed is set at 150. So we'll increase that to 200. Um, so that when you roll, you kind of zip off. Right. So that's the rolling. Now, when the rolling is finished, we need to set the speed back to what it originally was. Okay, so let's say player animation, unfinished, roll. So the animation is now finished. We want to return to our run animation. So we'll go player animation, set animation to run. You go from a roll back into a run and we want to reset the max speed. So we want to go player controller, set max speed, we'll set it back to what it was, 150. There we go. Um, we also want to make sure that um, nothing is left over from, from any previous rolls. So if roll is not, if the roll animation is not playing, then we're just going to trigger this thing once and make sure that the max speed is set to 150. It's it's a double check just to make sure we don't leave the player on a 200 max speed. So we'll add an event to say um, roll is not playing. So this is just a double check, right? So this is playing. So we're going to we can either right click and say invert, or we can click on it and press I to invert it so roll is not playing and we'll add another condition and we're just going to trigger this once and what we'll do is um, set the player's max speed back to 150. Done. So that's just a double check to make sure we don't end up leaving the max speed on 200. Right so um, if the player hits a wall on their left or right while they are rolling. We'll also spawn a little puffer dust, just to um, just to um, give that effect, and we'll return the player to idle. So if you're going to bump into a wall while you're rolling, you will stop rolling. The dust will cloud will come from the wall, and you'll go back to just standing there. Right. So let's do that. Um, so that we first need to check if there's a wall on the left or the right. So. We'll use our player controller to do that. We can say is by wall left or wall right. So we'll add another condition here and we'll say player controller is by wall right. So wall left or right, we need to make these an or block. So wall left or right. 
then we're going to check if you've collided with the tile map. So we'll add a blank here and we'll say um, player controller on collision with, in this case it's the tile map itself, but you may have set up another layer with, um, you know, solid collision objects. So if you collide with the tile map, and you're rolling so we need to check if the animation is playing so if the roll animation is playing right then we're going to spawn the dust and um, set idle so we've already spawned dust before so i'm just going to take that and put it in there and we're going to set our animation to idle so we're going to say player set animation idle play from the beginning okay and it doesn't really matter the order too much but we'll, we'll do that very well okay now if you want to roll you, you've actually got to be moving so you've got to be moving in order to roll right so if you stop pressing the left or right arrow keys you've got to stop rolling so let's put that in as well so we'll check if roll is playing Right, so if, if if the role is playing, then um, and you release the keys on the keyboard, so we'll say uh, on key released left. Okay, and. So want to add another key release. Yeah, we can do them separately, I guess. Um, so if you release uh, the left arrow, then you want to set your animation uh, to idle. And we're going to do the same for the right arrow. So if you release these keys, you're going to go back to idle. Okay. And that should be it for the roll, um, for the rolling. Now it's not going to work because our previous animations are interfering with, so here we've got, if you're moving, it's going to be on run. So you'll always just be on run. You won't actually see the roll animation at the moment. We're going to go and fix that. Let's just group this, press G for group, and let's call it um, player roll. And we'll move all this um, stuff into player roll, just so that we can um, get it out the way if we need to. And now we know what all this code refers to. Okay, so that's our rolling which we'll come back to. But let's now go to our animations and fix a few things because it's not gonna work with the way we've got it set up at the moment. This is always running because even if you're rolling, you're moving. So it's gonna always play the run animation. So we can't have that. So in fact, we'll have to disable that. And yeah, make a couple of changes here. Right, so first, I think that will also probably have to be disabled. Okay, but we'll investigate in a second. Right, so first let's see. If you're on the floor and roll is not playing and you're not moving, that's when you should be idle. So we'll replace this now, this idle, with that, that idea. So let's try that. Okay, so, um, so if the player controller is on the floor and roll is not currently playing, let's add another condition, um, is playing roll, okay, and this is not playing. 
so this one has to be inverted. Okay, so roll is not playing. You're on the floor, the roll animation is not playing, right? And you're not moving, so let's go down and add another kind of blank image here and say that the player is not moving. So, is moving, and we'll invert that, so you're not moving. Then that's when you're gonna be idle. So here's where we'll set our action, set animation to idle. Okay, so that's our new idle, right? You're on the floor, you're not rolling, you're not moving, you're idle. Okay, now, if you are moving, we want to be running here. Okay, so if, you, if you're on the floor, you're not rolling, and you are moving, so let's add a blank here. So if the player is moving, And that's when we want to be running. Okay, so you, you're on the floor, you're not rolling, but you are moving, then we want to run. Okay, so that will replace that one up there. So we've fixed these two. These were too sim simple for now our, having our roll animation. Now, that should allow us to roll. So let's test it. Right, moment of truth. We're idle, we're running, and we're rolling. And jumping, falling, rolling. Okay, hope you learned something. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to support me.